guys, I hope you're all stoked to check out some of the latest and greatest brand new Cydia tweaks that have just been released within the past few weeks. Now before we jump into things, this video is brought to you by Surfshark. It's by far the absolute best VPN service I've seen yet, and we actually have an incredible promotion going on with them, but we're going to take a closer look at this later in this video. Now, March in general was just an incredible month for new tweaks, but in this video in particular, I'm going to show you guys 30 of my favorite tweaks that have been released recently. Again, all of the tweaks and sources can be found on our Best Tech Info article located down below in this video's description. Also, while you're there, definitely bookmark our A12 Jailbreak Status Checker page to be notified when the Jailbreak utility is updated for the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, and the 2018 iPad Pros. It sounds like there's only a few steps to go before the Jailbreak is released, so stay tuned, guys. All right, well, without further ado, let's jump in to these new tweaks. All right, so first up, we have the Maple Beta, which brings the air power charging animation to the iPhone whenever it's plugged in or on a wireless charger. And check this out, guys. This is the craziest part of the tweak. If I take something like my AirPods, and look at this. I love the engraving that's on this. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and place those on the wireless charger right here. And if I pull down my notifications one more time, as you guys can see, AirPods are now showing up there as well. And I'm sure this will work with the Apple Watch too. I just don't have it down here with me. Anyway, guys, that one's called Maple Beta, and I'm sure some awesome updates are going to be coming to it very soon. All right, so next up we have Shuffle, which basically reorganizes the settings app. As you guys can see, we have tweaks right there, so we can jump into the tweak settings right at the top. We have other pre-installed apps as well as system apps, and as you guys can see, just a lot less clutter, and it's a really quick way to jump into your tweak settings right at the top. And again, this one is called Shuffle. All right, so next up we have quite a few music tweaks to talk about. This one called Mashuda Infinity basically updates Mashuda for iOS 12, so you can have this awesome music visualizer in Spotify. It's also, I guess not in the control center, but on the home screen as well. And this right here brings me to a few other tweaks I wanted to share with you guys. So this one called Up Next 2 basically lets you see the song that's coming up next. And you can actually click this X right here to pick and choose which song you want to play next. So if I click on that, then as you guys can see, it changes to that song. If I don't want to listen to some of these songs coming up next, uh, let's say I want to listen to some Drake now. As you guys can see, now it goes to Drake. An awesome tweak. I love how it's merged with the music widget on the lock screen. That looks super cool. So let's go ahead and uh, head back to the home screen right here. Um, if you guys don't know, I had Spotify on my dock, but this tweak right here called Music Artwork basically takes the music artwork of the currently playing song and puts it as the icon for either Spotify or Apple Music, whatever music service you're using. So I thought that one was really cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. And again, when you're on the lock screen right here, if you have music playing, this tweak called No Idle Timer basically disables the lock screen auto-locking, so your screen will no longer shut off when you have music playing in the background. So if you guys have seen my videos in the past, you'll know that I typically have a lot of icons on my home screen and I always have the icon labels hidden. Well, this new tweak right here called Shy Labels actually makes the labels appear when you're scrolling. So as you guys can see, the labels are now up on screen, but they then fade away once I'm done scrolling after a couple of seconds. So if I zoom out a little bit, I'll show you guys what this looks like in full screen. I can see all of my icon labels real quickly at a glance when I'm scrolling, but then they fade away and make it look really nice when I'm not using them. So this tweet called Sonos 12 places the volume HUD behind the time, and as you guys can see, the animation is super nice. The time fades away, the volume HUD comes up, and then when the volume HUD is dismissed, the time comes right back. And there's a lot of options to configure with Sonos 12, so you can make your volume HUD indicator exactly how you want it. But I really like the subtlety of having it up in the notch right where the time is. So this next one called Copy Log is basically a clipboard history manager, which looks really sweet. So if I just swipe up on the keyboard, this basically is a clipboard history manager. It shows all of the things I've recently copied from various apps and keeps a history of them. And I just love the UI of this. It's super nice 
nice, super simplistic. And again, if you guys just wanna copy it, you can click either favorite or move, cancel. Uh, I, how do you copy this again? Then I guess you just click on it and then, uh, then you can hit paste and yeah, there we go. It's right there in your clipboard once again. So that one is called copy log. Again, you just access it by swiping up on the keyboard. Super awesome tweak to have. So I'm usually not a fan of app drawers like on Android, but this one called Vesta does it pretty dang good. Basically with this super simplistic gesture of swiping up on the right, it shows you your recently used applications, you can even favorite some, or you have an entire app list of all your icons and it just swipes away just like that. And the cool thing is you can do this within any app. So even if I'm in Cydia or any other app, I can just swipe up and I have all of my applications right there, I can easily switch over to another one directly within another app. So that one's called Vesta. All right, well, let's take a break real fast and take a look at Surfshark. So if you guys happen to be looking for a VPN service, you are in luck as we're doing an awesome promo with Surfshark for just $1.99 a month with the promo code ICU, you can get yourself this awesome VPN service that I'm about to demo. It's super modern and super simplistic. Basically, you just click connect and it will connect you to a VPN just like that. Now, uh, one of the things I guess that people are looking to use a VPN service for is for multiple library access in their Netflix collection. Well, with this service, you can actually access Netflix from different countries and get access to those basically closed off libraries. Really, in a nutshell, I just love it that it's super modern. It's really simplistic, like I just showed you guys. The connection is super fast. Another great thing is there is a ton of devices support from your iPhone to your iPad to your Mac, PC, Android phone, but even like your Xbox, Fire Stick and other things like that. And multiple device support is great, but the cool thing is under one plan, you can actually use your one subscription service on an unlimited amount of devices. So just one super cheap cost for all of your VPN needs across all of your devices. And again, definitely check the first link down below in this video's description if you wanna learn more. We're offering a promotional code of up to 83% off this service. So if you guys happen to be watching this video and are interested in a VPN service, or if you wanna switch over from one that you're currently using, definitely check it out for the most modern and best VPN service available. Anyway guys, like I said, some super unique features. It's super cheap for all your VPN needs across all your devices. It's super compatible with everything. And again, the best thing is one subscription for all devices. Anyway guys, that's a quick look at Surfshark. Let's get back into this video, taking a look at some of the newest tweaks out there. So this tweak called Snooze X is an awesome some snooze redesign. Now you can really easily either stop the alarm or snooze it at the top. I really like how this one looks, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop that alarm, but that one's called Snooze X. D&D Allow is a tweak that allows notifications from specific apps while do not disturb or bedtime is enabled. So as you guys can see from this screen right here, you can select exactly which apps you want to still receive notifications or alerts from even when do not disturb is enabled. I typically just have my phone app like that. Essentials is an ultimate customization tweak for your device. It kind of reminds me of something like Springtimize, but the number one thing I use this tweak for is under the alerts category, I can disable all of these annoying alerts like the no SIM, the beta update, disabling cellular data, or when you're in airplane mode, it's gonna come up with an alert every single time you unlock your device. So I use this tweak to get rid of all of those with one tweak instead of installing like four little ones. So if you guys can see, if I enable do not disturb and then go back to my lock screen, I no longer have that annoying little you're in do not disturb prompt right here. And that's achieved by this tweak called leave me alone. It removes that DND notification from iOS 12 on the lock screen. And uh, the cool thing is, is it places this little icon right here, right under jellyfish to notify you that you're in do not disturb, but it's not as uh, intrusive, I guess, as the full screen notification. Anyway guys, that one's called leave me alone. 
So another awesome one is called Tiny Banners, which basically gives you tiny notification banners on the lock and notification center screen, as well as when you actually receive these notifications. They're just super tiny and simplistic. And the way I like to use this tweak is not have it enabled on the lock screen or notification center and just have my banners be tiny at the top. So that way when I'm on the lock screen or notification center, I can see the full notification, but when I get them on the fly, uh, they're just super tiny here up at the top. Anyway guys, that one's called Tiny Banners. Now a tweak that I really like is called Bar Scope. It actually lets you redesign the home bar here at the bottom and right now I just have a really tiny one and I think that one looks pretty sweet if you're gonna actually have a home bar. But a couple other presets are like having a chevron down here at the bottom or just any other icon aside from the default home bar. It lets you switch it up and change it to your liking. Anyway guys, that one is called Bar Scope. And while we're here taking a look at the keyboard with bar scope, I actually have color board installed. So based on the application color, the keyboard is dynamically updated. So within Cydia, the keyboard is brown, but as you guys saw within Safari, the keyboard is blue. Within the messages app, the keyboard's green, etc. So a really nice quality of life one is called organic emoji scrubber. So I can actually just scroll through all of the emojis right here on this bar as one would expect. And normally you can't do that, but this one is a pretty sweet one that I think you guys might like. Again, that one's called Organic Emoji Scrubber. So No LS Screenshot is a tweak to basically help avoid accidental screenshots on the lock screen. So when I go to take a screenshot, it comes up with this warning saying, hey, did you actually mean to take a screenshot? I can just click no, and it basically deletes the screenshot and it will not show up within the Photos app. And if you guys saw right there, I also have Silent Screenshot enabled, which basically does this really quick flash of the white right there. So I'll do that one more time up close. It basically gets just a little bit brighter. There's actually no uh, screenshot sound. And I really like that one because it's just less annoying. There's no need for the sound when taking a screenshot. Again, I briefly demoed this one in another video, but this one is brand new too. So with the side button and the volume down button, if I press both of those, it activates the flashlight. So that one is called Smart Light. So I can just quickly turn it on and turn it off. I really like that one as it's a super quick way to access the flashlight when you're in desperate need of one. Anyway guys, that one's called Smart Light. So this tweet called Fresh Wall gives you a new wallpaper on either your lock screen or your home screen upon every unlock. So as you guys can see, I have that one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock my phone real fast. I can't see my face behind the camera, but real quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my device off and pull it up once more. And as you guys can see, I have a fresh wallpaper every single time. Now this tweak is just in beta. If you guys saw it kind of quickly switched between two wallpapers right there, that is gonna happen right now, but it's going to improve with tweak updates. Anyway guys, for the most part it works pretty dang well. Um, I really don't notice it, especially when you're just not turning your device on and off real quickly like this. As you guys can see, that animation right there actually worked perfectly fine. Um, and in most cases with day-to-day -day use, you're not gonna notice that. Um, just when I'm demoing this super quickly, sometimes it doesn't update immediately and also, Auto Unlock X isn't really doing us any favors when it's unlocking the phone so quickly. Anyway guys, that one's called Fresh Wall. I really like the wallpapers that it has, and uh, again, you can make it just on the lock screen or just on the home screen. So another one called My Raid Beta is an awesome one to check out. It adds split screen multitasking, vertical split screen multitasking, that is, to the iPhone as well as the iPad. And so it looks a little bit crazy when you're picking apps, but you can easily just pick two and run both apps simultaneously on your iPhone. And the cool thing is you can split an app off and actually run three apps simultaneously and this is getting a bit overkill on the iPhone 10, but I could definitely see this being useful on the iPad or the iPhone 10s Max. Another awesome one is called Modulus and add some more control center modules to the control center. So as you guys can see, I have this awesome battery widget right here. This one shows which tweaks need to be updated. You can get device info and again, I have a lot going on here on my control center. I have better CCXI for this new layout.
about. This one right here is called Power Module, which is a great way to respring your device. I also have a cool CC for this awesome outlined look on the control center. And then lastly, I have Duo for a second page on my control center. Anyway guys, definitely some awesome tweaks to check out there. So this one's going to be hard to demo in video, so I'll just talk a little bit about it, but it's called Vibrato, and it basically adds new vibrations or haptic feedback to your iPhone. Say on keyboard presses, lock or unlocking things, just awesome vibrations throughout all of iOS. Anyway guys, very lastly, this one called Xeon basically lets you customize the iPhone's status bar. As you guys can see, where my carrier logo should be, I currently have a Pikachu GIF going on right there. I also have the battery percentage right in my battery over here. And again, there's a lot you can do with this one tweak and it's called Xeon. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and making it to the end. I really appreciate your guys' support. Anyway, if you wanna check out all of the tweaks and the source list, definitely take a look at our Best Tech article located down below in this video's description. Make sure to bookmark our A12 jailbreak status checker page and definitely check out Surfshark if you're looking for a VPN service. It is absolutely the best one I have found to date. Anyway guys, Thank you so much for watching this quick video. Before you go, definitely like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and if you want to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking and Apple-related news. Anyway, guys, until next time, this is Tony, signing out.